All right, started recording. By the way, I, I'm just wearing this hat because I just did my hair, and I want to make sure I flatten some of the hair here. So, <laughs> yeah, I just took a shower. All right. It's actually, I haven't had an early shower in a while. Actually, I'm just so I'm just gonna put this back on and fix the hair here. All right, and let's go back to the main topic. I'm actually glad that most of the videos I'm gonna react to today are like under a minute long. So yeah, let's just start right now. Um, so Shazam was a big surprise, honestly. Um, I remember having doubts, you know, on it, of course, obviously. But you know, Shazam, the first movie, I thought it was really great. It's not my favorite film in the DCEU. I know so many people claim it's their favorite. For me, my favorite is still the, the first Wonder Woman movie that came out. And, uh, I know I have, like, some DCEU ranks list. Um, if I look it up here, actually, um, turn off. All right, where is it? Uh, DCEU ranked. All right, so my tops would be, my top favorites would be, Wonder Woman, uh, the first movie, then Wonder Woman 1984, then Aquaman, then uh, the Snyder Cut, uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League there, and Shazam would be at five. So Shazam is still in the top five. I wouldn't really call it my favorite, though. But for those who are curious as to how I round out the rest, um, Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, the Ultimate Edition, um, I would rank it at number seven with Man of Steel at number six. I, I, I enjoy Man of Steel over Batman v Superman. I feel like because Man of Steel has a more cohesive story. But I still enjoy Batman v Superman, like this new version. And then at number eight is Birds of Prey. And if you want to see uh, my ranked list, uh, yeah. I don't know if you can see it correctly. But I have an underline here excluding the BVS Theatrical and Suicide Squad and Justice League are not present on the list. Which is probably a good thing. But yeah, needless to say, I did enjoy Shazam. I've been starting to notice a trend of horror directors transitioning to making good comic book movies. I mean, Zack Snyder, of course, got his start with the Dawn of the Dead remake. Then he went to doing 300 and Watchmen and Man of Steel and, uh, you know, most of the films in the DCEU. But now he's returned to horror with Army of the Dead, which I actually liked. I don't care what people say. I actually did enjoy that movie. Um, also, um, you know, another one, James Gunn starts his, you know, his first movie was Slither, and then he directed Super and both Gardens of the Galaxy movies, and I'm really excited for The Suicide Squad. And, uh, James Wan, you know, of course, he's done, like, a lot of horror movies. He's only done two non-horror movies prior to Aquaman. He only did two non-horror movies prior to Aquaman, but, you know, Saw, first two Insidious movies, first two Conjuring films. And, you know, then Furious 7 and Death Sentence and Aquaman, which ended up being a big hit. And David F. Sandberg, you know, Lights Out, Annabelle Creation, Shazam 1. And I like that he's coming back for Shazam 2. I'm really excited for that. And, uh, yeah. And by the way, I'm, I'm just drinking tea. And, you know, I know some people are saying that the DCEU is going through many continuity changes. But that's because, like... Back then, I feel like when it started, you know, when they were doing Batman v Superman and Suicide Squad and, of course, Justice League, they were initially just trying to compete with the MCU. And I feel like with Man of Steel and both Wonder Woman movies and Aquaman and Shazam and I'll even say maybe Birds of Prey, um, it looks like they're sort of letting like these directors do their own thing. Which is what I like. I like it when, you know, studios try to trust the director. But, um, anyway, uh, David F. Sandberg uploaded this video through his uh, channel here, uh, Pony Smasher. <laughs> uh, and, yeah, I have nothing but high hopes for Shazam 2, Theory of the Gods. Let's uh, check out this Caesar trailer here. Let me unmute it here for a second, though. Good. dark probably would have been a good idea to have like one light on 
Oh shit, that's another thing. I, I forgot I had uh, additional videos here, so go back to the previous video. I should stop doing these on the watch later, but yeah, I, I can't help it. Um, why is it so dark in here? Yeah, that was a pretty funny video there. Uh, let's see. Uh, all right, so <laughs> confirmed. Lights out is now part of the DCEU. It's interesting. The voice crack. Why is it so dark? Yeah, so. You know, I'm glad that they're doing this movie, and, um, you know, I, I don't know what they're going for, I don't know for sure, all I know is we got a bit of a tease there, why is it so dark, I, I like that, um, let's see, uh, I want to know some facts here about Shazam, because I do know that, um, it's interesting is that they're gonna have, uh, I think they already started shooting, by the way. So that was kind of the announcement that it's already started shooting. Because I saw a picture that uh, David F. Sandberg uploaded on Instagram where he confirmed that shooting has started. Yeah, filming began that May in Atlanta, Georgia. And it seems, oh, Jeff Johns is involved with the produ with producing this. Dear God, no. <laughs> Hopefully they give, yeah. So it seems that most of the same people from the first movie returning, including... Uh, the screenwriter here, uh, Henry Gaiden, who, okay, so he wrote, oh, he worked on Spider-Man 3 as an assistant to, oh, so he started off as an assistant uh, to uh, screenwriter Alvin Sh Alvin Sargent, the, he wrote uh, Ordinary People and uh, Spider-Man 2, which to me still remains one of the best com comic book movies ever made. Let me close the door so my mom doesn't hear me. He also wrote Earth Echo. Co-wrote the story with Darren Lumpke, the first Shazam, and there's this new movie he's written called There's Someone Inside Your House. I don't know it. Based on Stephanie Perkins' uh, 2017 novel, the same name. Don't know much about it. But back to the movie. Um, Alright, so Zachary Levi is coming back as Shazam. So is Asher Angel. And let's see. Jack Dylan Grazer is coming back as Freddy. Uh, Adam Brody plays the character's adult superior form. Uh, Rachel Zegler. Oh. Oh, right. Uh, she's uh, she's going to be uh, Maria in the new West Side Story uh, movie from Steven Spielberg. Right here. Helen Mira as Hespira, a daughter of Alice. And Lucy Liu as Calypso, a daughter of Alice. Lucy Liu is in this movie as well. Includes uh, Faith Herman. Mm. Oh yeah, the younger sister's coming back as well as Megan Good as the adult superior Herman. Uh, okay, uh, also, uh, yeah, so it looks like the Foster family's all coming back. I think they're going to play a huge part in this. Uh, so like Darla's coming back. Um, Mary's coming back. Uh, Eugene. Um, Eugene Troy, Eugene, uh, Pedro. So like, um, all of them are coming back. Like the the family is coming back. So like the family's gonna be in here. So, uh, yeah. Let's see here. Uh, cinematographer, Eula Pados. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, you have, how do you pronounce this? Uh, yeah, I think it's pronounced uh Eula. Or, or Ula, Ula Pados, with the G very silent here. I'm looking at the work. All right, Control. Uh, oh, Fateless. That was a good movie. And Hotel Splendid. Splendid. Um, the Duchess. Uh, that was another good one. Metallica Through the Never. Million Dollar Arm. Both uh, Maze Runner 2 and 3. And uh, Jung Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle and Jumanji the Next Level. All right. That's interesting. I mean, uh, actually, you know, Fateless has, is a really good movie. Uh, it was directed by a, a former DP, Alajos Coltai. Let's see. Um, uh, so I don't really think uh, Mark Strong is coming back as uh, Thaddeus, as Dr. Thaddeus Savannah, because um, I remember the, there was a tease of uh, the, the mid credit scene with the worm. So, yeah. Yeah. Production was delayed from an initial mid-2020 start. So this was originally supposed to be starting filming last year. But given the, the, the whole light of the pandemic. Yeah. 
But look at this, like June second, twenty twenty three. I have to wait two years, two more years to get a sequel to this. I've waited longer for certain movies, so I guess that makes sense. Uh, let's see. They don't say the plot. Um, Atlas. Let me look up uh, Atlas. If that's a character in the DC Comics. Atlas. Hold on. Maybe if I if I type it on Google here. Atlas. Uh, DC. Yeah, Atlas. DC Comics. Um, uh, I'm I'm looking here. Here's the Wikipedia for it. Um, let's see. Atlas is a fictional character and comic book superhero. Films. Uh, now maybe I picked the wrong one. Atlas. Hold on. Atlas. Atlas Didi. Greek Didi. Because, you know, they always talk. Yeah, all right, here it is. Here's what I could find Atlas in Greek myth mythology, son of the Titan Lapidus and the Ocean, the Oceanid Clamine or Asia, and brother of Prometheus, creator of humankind, according to. Yeah, so I don't really know much. I do know that the. Um, I remember. Um, if I look it up. Uh, yeah, I'll have to use his username, Pony Smasher Instagram. Uh, I do know that he posted a picture of the photo there. Hold on, I'm gonna look at here. Um, mm hmm. Oh, cool. Uh, oh, look at this. Uh, right here, this. Uh, yeah, the camera that they're using on this is the uh Alexa L11. I wonder if this lens is an airy. I actually wondered if this lens was a an airy uh prime lens. If I look it up, uh, is Fury of the Gods again? I'm gonna go on the IMDb, um, and show you. Uh, I know people are like, well, why do you have to show like the technical details? We don't care. Well, I care. Have you ever thought of that? Oh, that's IMDb Pro. <laughs> Clicked on the wrong thing. Uh, release dates. Maybe if I, I click here, I can find it. No. Yeah. So I think this is actually being shot with uh, anamorphic lenses like the entire production. Because I look right here. Yeah. Hawk V-Lite Vintage 74. If I look... I'm going to show you guys these uh, lenses here. These actually... Uh, hold on. Uh, anamorphic lenses. Alright, so... If I remember correctly, these are actually uh, the same lenses. They actually have these certain lenses uh, from Hawk here. Wait. Let me look at the prices here on these. Uh, brain box. Yeah, I think these are the lenses that are being used. Because I think I noticed, yeah, a 45 millimeter. Oh, so it is being shot. This is actually his... Uh, yeah. Wow, look at that. How long this is. Oh, it's for rental. I wanted it for purchase, damn it. Standard set, uh, 45, 55, 80, 110. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I think these were also the same lenses that were used on, uh, John Wick and Atomic Blonde and, uh, Bridge of Spies, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. That was interesting. Uh, I really did enjoy that tease, even though we... I like that it's, it's literally a tease. We don't know what's happening, and... Although, I do gotta wait a year for the trailer, and I, I, it's funny, like, these, uh, these, uh, stupid bed keeps going up front. Like, these DC movies, they, they often film very earlier in advance, unlike Marvel, which they have it fast-tracked. And again, Bond movies, I guess fast-tracked, yeah, I'm gonna show you the hair. Yeah, it looks good now, right? <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna end it there, I'll leave a like on the video, uh, this was a Shazam 2 tease that was uploaded by uh, Pony Smasher himself, David F. Sandberg. I'll leave a link to the original video, and screw it, I'll leave you a link. And you know what? Since I'm nice, I'm also going to leave uh, David F. Sandberg's YouTube channel here and uh, in the description, a link in the description down below, and as well as a link to my Instagram page. 
Thank you as always for watching. Let me know if you're excited for Shazam Period of the Gods. I know I sure am. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If you do subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell to stay notified. And I guess I'm going to end the video here. So I wish you all got speed. Take care.